Hi guys, it's Ray, and because I'm an addict, I can't go a whole weekend without buying books. Here's another book haul. Yay! Uh, yeah, so I went home to visit my parents this weekend, and I may have fell into a couple of bookshops. What can I do? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And, well, I had a Waterstones gift card to spend, and also I got some books and I could buy one get one half price offer, even though I kind of swindled the offer slightly. Um, but I shall show you the books. Oh, I like the books. Oh, thoughts. It's not that bad. Um, but the first one I got from uh, W.H. Smith's, I got Plaid Atlas by David Mitchell, because the film of this is only coming out in the UK like on the 25th of January, even though it's been out in like, America for probably about two months. Um, so I thought I would get this to read because it look the film looks amazing, and so both me and my boyfriend went to go see it. So one of us, it kind of going for the sort of whole read it first, but kind of one of us is doing it. He's read Life of Pi. I'm going to read Cloud Atlas. <laughs> we'll just sort of just keep telling each other. I, I probably know most of the plot of Life of Pi now because he's been sort of telling what's been going on. So I've got that and. This was part, it's supposed to be like chart offers, like for a buy one go half price. But this cover wasn't really supposed to be included in it because this is more expensive than the movie cover, weirdly. But I don't want the movie cover, so I kind of went to uh, tell me, can I possibly have this one instead? So, and luckily she had to override the off thing because it wasn't coming up anyway, so I got that one instead. And I also got Easy by Tomorrow Weather. Uh, this is like sort of a new adult book that. Was like sort of like between teens and then getting into like the twenty something chick lit. Um but obviously this is not quite chick lit because it's got a bit of a trigger warning for attempted rape at the start, which is sounds like it'll be interesting. And I quite like the fact that this was on the chart, like on the W. H. Smith's like top one hundred things. Like, yes, I like that a new adult book's gone there. This is good. I love the fact that Fault in Our Stars is <laughs> currently in Richard and Judy's book club, but I don't know where that's going to make it sort of seem like, oh no, Rich and Judy like it. Um, but who cares? People seeing it. Um, but yeah, that one. And then I went uh, up to Waterstones with my boyfriend and I had bought books, although he wouldn't let me stay in there too long because I'm an addict. Because <laughs> I would have bought like all of the pretty. Gore no, not pretty, downright like, gorgeous uh, leather bound editions of like, we did the only thing to have three of the Jane Austen novels in them, um, but not like I have like multiple copies or anything, mm. but I got this lovely beautiful edition, Penguin classic edition of Persuasion by Jane Austen because I want to reread it and I can't be bothered to actually bring one of my huge omnibus with over here. Excuse me. So I kind of bought this, um, but it's beautiful, and you can actually get all the other ones in these as well. And these, it's like only five ninety nine for that, which is good. So yeah, I'll be reading that soon. And I also got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs because Ransom Riggs and everyone just writes about this. So pretty, it's so cool, and all of the creepy photos. My boyfriend's brother's just got home from work, so I'm quiet. <laughs> but yeah, got those. Hopefully, we'll try and refrain from buying books for a bit because I've got quite a lot. And I brought some more back with me from home. I took a load home that I've read and then brought a couple back. But I kind of, over the weekend, did read all of this. Um, may have done it at like stupid o'clock in the morning. We finished at 10 to 3. But I just. Good. But yes, I am rambling. But hopefully, I might do a, a review of that because, because I, I should do reviews. Because I'm not. I'm not that. But anyway, let me know if you guys have read so and if you like them. If I should read them soon. Because I'm still reading a secret 
I see Christy put on top. And I keep meaning to start or well, restart uh, Tons of Dragons because I've got about 40 pages in and just put it down because I'm catching up with series one, which I've had. I watched the first two episodes months ago and then never really pro properly watched the rest of it. So I've been doing that. One episode left. And I can't think of anything else. But in any case, I'm going to go because it's quite long. And I don't want to bore you people. Because <laughs> I'm known for that. <coughs> so boring, no comments. But anywho, see you guys soon.